Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you change your profile picture or you could call it your avatar or your system picture but essentially what that is, it's the image that comes up here when you set up your account. So I always reset my Chromebooks, I'm going from the Canary channel to the beta channel, developer channel so I'm always having to reset my Chromebook. So one of the things I do is change this, I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you how to do it. So to do that, it's all done now from the personalization hub and you access that now by just right clicking on the desktop and doing set wallpaper and style. And then from there, you've got a few different options. You've got your wallpaper, your screensaver, but it's this here that we're changing, which is your profile image. So just simply click on there. And as you can see, the profile image it gives you that, that it's quite, it just quite boring the one, the one you get as default but you get the ones you can choose from Chrome OS itself now these are really nice because they add animation to it like that so when you log in in the morning you've got a little bit of an animation to look at as well and I don't know about you but little things like that brighten up your day so it's good to have them as well so you can choose one of them and that will give you animation if it also if you're not too fussed about the animation you want your own you can do that as well you could just take a picture of yourself so if you just do take photo like that and then just take a picture of yourself and you could use that as your profile like that as you can see there or you could do something a bit more quirky if you wanted to and you could do a little loop of yourself so get to where you want to be, to where you want to end, or do anything silly, and just click the button and do it. So I'll just do something now. And there we go. So you've got that, which is quite nice as well. So that's quite a nice way to do it as well, to personalize your um, profile image. Or if you want to, you can add your own. And this is what I wanted to do for this particular profile. So I've got a couple of profiles for Chrome Computing. Um, and they're both registered on this account so I needed something to slightly differentiate the one because I want them both to have the Chrome Computing logo here so for example the standard Chrome Computing logo that I was using I didn't want to do that and just open up a file manager I'm just going to show you because this is what I'd normally suggest for the image size so this is the image I've done and if you just open it up in your image just double click on it to open it up in your Chromebook and if you click on this one here rescale it will show you what pixels have been used and I would recommend to use about 512 by 512 pixels it does depend on the image if it's square like this that isn't going to be perfect because it's not going to fit but if it's round because the profile image as you can see is done for a round image so where this 512512 you can see it hasn't put it all in so to fix that I still used a 512512 image but I just shortened made the square logo smaller so then it fits in and also just to differentiate I'll put a little blue background so that's the only difference from that profile for me to another profile which has got a clear background because that's important when you're logging in the morning I don't really take certainly for me I've got a few logins and they're all obviously called Dan for my name the only way I can tell the difference between one to the other and just want to click the drop down box each time is the profile image so that's why I've used a slightly different profile image but this profile image is the one I'm going to be using on this one here so it's just simply click on there and because I've, I've shrunk it down, but still kept the 512, as you can see, it fits in there. So that's fit, fitted in, so that's all fine. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, I am going to try and do a lot more videos this year, which are a lot more short and to the point. Obviously, some videos, I do need to take a lot more detail into them. But I appreciate sometimes videos can go on for further than they need to. So I'm going to try and do a lot of videos this year, which are just very quick, helpful tips on how to change something on your Chromebook. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.